Hey, this is Norma from Our Vacationer. Uh, Wayne and I love to travel. We've traveled for the past 30 plus years and we've had a wonderful time. We're not full-timers, but we travel most every summer and weeks that school's out. I work as a lunchroom manager at our school here in our town. So we have the summers off several weeks during the year that we can travel and we've thoroughly enjoyed that. But when we go traveling, we like to eat meals in the camper a lot. Uh, after we've had a long day of traveling out, sightseeing and all, we like to come back to the camper and sit and relax and just enjoy a nice meal. So during the through the years, I've learned to do a few things that when you come back in the camper, you're just like, oh, that smells delicious. So I'm going to do a meal today and show you what I do is very simple. I don't do anything complicated because usually we're tired when we get back to the camper. So we're going to start out. This is going to be a roast and potatoes and carrots. And I always use a bag in the crock pot so that there's very little cleanup at the end of the day. Okay, I use the bags. That just leaves a lot less cleanup that you have to do, especially if you're a... Uh, if you dry dock a lot and don't have full hookups, this is a good thing to have. Now, a lot of times when we're traveling down the road, we will put the meal in the crock pot, turn our generator on, and it'll cook as we go down the road. And if that doesn't smell yummy, I don't know what does. Okay, when I go shopping for meat, we have a wonderful meat market. It's called the Arab Meat Market. And they have some of the yummiest meats if you ever in this area and you want to buy. Uh, we have a friend who lives in Birmingham and she comes up once a meat, once a month and buys her meat from the meat market. It's just really fresh and uh, very good. So first thing I'm going to do, I put my bag in. I'm going to go ahead and spray the bag just so that it doesn't stick. Because sometimes it tends to want to stick. The first thing I'm going to put in, I've already washed my potatoes. There's a few of them that have bad spots in them, so I'm going to cut the bad spots out. And then I'm just going to cut them up in little chunks in the bottom. Like I say, everything I do is simple. Uh, not very time consuming because... When we're out traveling, we want to have fun and enjoy ourselves. We don't want to worry about cooking huge meals. So, so this is very easy to do. All right. And according to, we camp with friends a lot. So if we're with friends, I tend to get a larger roast. And if we're not with friends, you know, I get one that's just enough for me and Wayne. And I like to have leftovers, too, for the next day. So I've got my potatoes in there, and I'm going to salt and I'm going to pepper them just to give them some good flavor. There we go. All right. I'm going to put my roast in next over the potatoes. That just keeps them... Uh, nice and moist while they're cooking and they don't dry out. We love the little baby carrots because they're just more tender. So we're just going to pour the whole bag in there. There we go. And then we're going to salt and pepper this also. Okay. Then I've got a nice yummy onion. This gives it a lot of flavor. Spices it up just right. At the lunchroom I work at, we have about 607 kids. So... We cook for that many kids every day. So we try to learn different ways to spice things up and give it a better flavor. 
and we like onion. We use garlic a lot too. The kids like the taste of the garlic in their food too. So that's that's really good. And then I'm just going to push those apart and spread them out over the top of the, the dish. So everything gets a nice flavor. All right, according to how long we're going to be gone for the day, if we're going to be gone on a long day trip somewhere, I turn my crock pot on. It goes up to 10 hours that you can cook. It's according to how, you know, how long I'm going to be gone for the day. If uh, we're just going to go out for a half day trip, then sometimes I'll turn it on the four hours. That way it'll be done for our lunch when we get back. So that's all there is to that. It's very simple. I'm going to turn it on and we're going to plug it in and we're going to let it cook. And when supper time gets here, it's going to be delish. All right, to go along with our pot roast, we're going to make a yummy, yummy peach cobbler. So we're going to go ahead again and we're going to use a bag so that it doesn't get everything all yucky and we have to spend half the night cleaning our pan. One of the ingredients for your peach cobbler. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and spray our pan again. Or spray our bag. Because we don't want it to stick. Okay. Now this, this recipe doesn't take very much ingredients. We're going to have a, a, a 29 ounce can of sliced peaches. We're going to have a Betty Crocker yellow cake mix. And we're going to use a stick of Land Lakes butter. As Paula Dean would say, just a tiny bit of butter. Just a tiny bit of butter. Alright, so I've got this old can opener. I don't have a newfangled one in the camper, but this one works very well, so we're going to open our peaches up. There we go. And we're going to just dump the whole can, juice and everything, into our crock pot. What kind of juice is that sweetened or unsweetened? This is in heavy syrup. I made sure it was heavy syrup. Just makes it sweeter. I like sweeter. And then we're going to take our cake mix. And we're going to pour it on top of our peaches. We're not going to stir it in. We're just going to put it on top. I am going to take a spoon and just level it out. I'm not going to mix it in there. I'm just going to make it level. Then we're going to take a stick of our butter. <coughs> Excuse me. Just and a tiny bit of butter. And we're going to chop up the whole stick on top of our cake mix. Then voila! We're going to put our lid on and we're going to cook for two hours and then it's going to be yummy for supper if you like this video if you would subscribe and like and we have many more videos that you can watch thanks
Take a look at where you've been and how you've come so far. No matter where you find yourself, you're always where you are. Go anywhere you go, do anything you do, I'll be with you. Take a moment, take an hour, take another year. Start again, I'll keep going, I'll always be right here. Feel anything you feel, hear anything you hear, you'll never disappear. Get down in the bottom and make sure. When it feels like you're walking back, when you're out of luck and off the path, broken and far from home, just remember that you're not alone. Trying not to dig too deep, afraid of what you'll find. Give yourself the grace you show me all the time. Cause when you love yourself, you can give that love to someone else. Mornings come and seasons go and life can get so hard. It's easy to forget the things that make you who you are. I hope that when you look at you, you see yourself the way that I do. When it feels like you're walking back, when you're out of luck. 